A debate is brewing in Washington County over the current transgender bathroom policy. Some parents are concerned with transgender students using the restroom consistent with their gender identity. Shelly Bortz talked with the superintendent today and she's live in Bentleyville with more. And Shelly, what would these parents like to see happen? Well, right now, transgender students can choose what bathroom they want to use based on their gender identity, which the superintendent tells me is in accordance with Title IX. But some parents argue that's unfair to other children who are scared to use the restroom with students who are still biologically the same sex. The majority uh, should not be controlled by the minority, and, you know, our kids matter also. It's a debate that's been brewing in school districts across our country. Bathroom policy for transgender students. The most recent in our area is the Bentworth School District in Washington County. At last night's school board meeting, several parents took to the podium to voice their concerns about bathroom policies. There's a lot of concern with the young uh, females in our school. Um, a lot of them are scared or frightened. Um, to go into the bathroom with biological males. The current policy in the district is to allow transgender students to use the restroom of choice. According to District Superintendent Scott Martin, the policy is not a written one. Rather, the district is following the guidance of its solicitor. I've contacted many, many school districts around us and trying to implement the same type of a a program, a policy, if you say. But parents here disagree. They believe the transgender students should not get a choice. They should have to use restrooms specifically just for them. This transgender is used identifying as a female, but using the male bathroom and making our male children feel uncomfortable. Bentworth High School has four restrooms for women, four restrooms for men, and six single-use restrooms that anyone can access. While parents would like to see those single-use restrooms designated for transgender students only, Martin says schools can't force those students to use facilities that don't match their gender identity or segregate them into separate facilities. We need to have those hard conversations, and I'm still learning. There's no way I can understand, but I can, I can work towards understanding, and that's what I'm trying to do. In 2017, this very same issue came up in the Pine Richland School District. Now, that case was settled out of courts, uh, allowing transgender students to use restrooms matching their gender identity. Reporting live in Bentleyville, Shelley Boards, KDKA TV News.